All right, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to deal with any Python path issues that you may occur. This is mainly for Meshtastic. Since the purpose of this video came from the comments of my previous Meshtastic video with the T Echo. So, I got a virtual machine here. I'm not sponsored. Uh, VMware, I will do a little shout out. VMware is a great software for virtual machines which I'm using to record this video. I don't have to blur anything because this is a virtual machine with all made up names, made up everything. Very nice, I like it. VMware, if you wanna sponsor me, that'd be awesome. Back to the video. I've already gone through the Microsoft Store. Microsoft Store, do 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 do. Type in the word Python. Got the latest version of Python. 3.11. Hope you can see my mouse, you can, awesome. And I clicked install. So Python should be on this virtual machine. I'm gonna close out of this. Yep, so you can see what version of Python we have. It's still recording, awesome it is. All right, we're gonna install the necessary libraries to run Python for Meshtastic, starting off with Meshtastic. This might take a while, usually anywhere between two to 10 minutes. Should not take, oh, perfect. That's the warning we wanted. This is the warning we're gonna fix in the video. Make it full screen for you to see. So the warning is the scripts were installed in the app data local packages, Python software foundation, da 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 which is not in the path. We have to add that directory into the path for this to work. The mesh tacit commands are not gonna work because where Python installed mesh tastic is not in the path. So this long highlighted directory needs to be placed in the path. Adding this directory to path or suppress this warning. You don't want to suppress the warning. Because though it says successfully installed down here, if I go to run it, it should not work. So if I do the command meshtastic, it's not a recognized command. That's because the necessary EXEs are not in the path. All right, to correctly add directory, to the path, we're gonna pull up the good old command, <laughs> command, control panel, if I can talk today. From control panel, we want system and security. From system and security, we're gonna go down to system. We're gonna scroll all the way down to advanced system settings. In the advanced tab, we're gonna go down to environmental variables, path, we're gonna hit edit, new. Now I should have copied this before, so I'm gonna go back to my command prompt, go ahead and copy. Whoop over here, good old control C, go back to my system variables, new control V, okay, and okay, and okay. If I do mesh tastic in the same command prompt, it won't recognize it. Let's close out of the command prompt. And this is the directory where Python is saving that mesh tastic script to, which is what we are copying and pasting in our path. I'm gonna go back to our CMD. I type in mesh tastic. It recognizes it. That's how we know we properly fixed that yellow warning message, that yellow error 
now that our system recognizes the Mestastic script, we can now perform the rest of the necessary uh, commands for installing or for factory setting a Meshtastic device. And this works with any other Python library. Say you had an issue with pandas, Cilium. Say you had an issue with a uh, math library. You get that yellow warning message about the, the script directory not being in the path. This is how you fix it. Thank you for watching this video. Um, as always, if you have any issues, uh, comment down below. I'll try to address them with a comment, and if it's too complicated, I might make a video about it like I did here. Um, thank you for your support. VMware, you have a great software. Thank you for the virtual machine. I'm not sponsored by you. I just like your product. As always, stay safe, don't die, and catch you in the next video. Bye.